The Living Building Challenge is an environmental standard that requires buildings and projects to generate as much electricity as they use in a year to survive entirely on the water that naturally falls on the site and to contribute no waste to public sewage systems. The Bullet Center and the McGilver Park project, which is adjacent to the property, are both endeavoring to meet those performance-based goals. The Living Building Challenge really focuses on healthy environments for human occupants. It looks at uh, toxic materials in a way that many other building standards don't. There is a list of prohibited chemicals called the Red List of Materials. For a furniture manufacturer to have their furniture in the Bullet Center, they had to demonstrate that their products didn't contain any of these toxic chemicals that they met certain volatile organic compound thresholds and essentially weren't going to be contributing any toxic chemicals to the, the fresh air that tenants are breathing day in and day out as they work in this building. The binders, the coatings, the adhesives that we use to put that furniture together can eventually off-gas into the air uh, inside a building. Technion worked very hard to vet their products of chemicals like formaldehyde uh, a known carcinogen and make sure that the furniture that was delivered to the bullet center wasn't going to have that negative indoor air quality impact. When you walk into the bullet center or you're a tenant in the bullet center you'll notice a few things. Number one uh, is the flood of daylight that is constantly coming into the building throughout the year. The large floor-to-ceiling windows really draw usable daylight into the space. Another thing that tenants are reacting well to is the beautiful wood ceiling, the heavy timber structure. In a way, it's a return to the traditional construction type of the region. And then finally, all tenants in the Bullet Center have their primary workstation within 30 feet of an operable window. And they're guaranteed, as part of their lease, to have unobstructed views out, to, uh, out through the windows to the exterior. So the furniture really contributed to this goal by having low partition heights, by having comfortable spaces where tenants could work, they could execute their daily tasks but still have connection to the outdoors, to outside, and, and to really feel connected to what's happening beyond the walls of the building. The design solutions put forth by Technion really met our needs as tenants. The Bullet Center was really designed to be an open office work environment. The furniture really helps uh, kind of advance that concept. By having low partition heights, tenants are able to interact with one another, they're able to move comfortably through the spaces, and they're able to get fresh air, views, daylight, all these things that this open office plan promises. The inspiration for the Bullet Center really comes from years and years of, of environmental research, environmental funding. We can no longer continue to build as we have. We need to be aware that buildings consume huge amounts of energy, they consume huge amounts of natural resources, and generate a tremendous amount of waste. The real goal of the Bullet Center was to really look forward into the future and demonstrate what is possible given our current technology. My name is Joe David. I work for Point32. We are a real estate development company that assisted the Bullet Foundation in the creation of the Bullet Center. We also happen to be tenants in the building.